So, um, and the the our current current model, and we realize a lot of like uh, special professional uh, industry that use like a uh, Disney mm -hmm. studio medical. Imagine three D stereo D uh, three D revolutions. Yeah, they use our monitors. They you know project. Mm -hmm. So in the future, we will go into release another one. So, but it's a professional line. Okay. Mm. It's not it's not for like end users. It's more for professional. Mm -hmm. So ever since Avatar came out, and you know James Cameron filmed that entire movie in 3D, um, the 3D movie industry sort of took off, you know, astounding. Um, but what Hollywood found out sort of is that depending on the movie, it can be dramatically cheaper to actually film it in 2D and then go and convert it to 3D. Um, because certain movies like love stories, dramas, that don't have a lot of high technic action sequences, mm -hmm. you actually don't need to film it in 3D. And of course, filming a movie in 3D is ridiculously expensive, like Avatar, you know, it costs so much money. So, all of a sudden you got all these studios everywhere, from small, medium to big, popping up, and they're all 2D to 3D conversion studios. And in the beginning, um, they used uh, active shutter class 3D monitors like NVIDIA's 3D Vision, and you know, they've been using that for the past year or so. And um, we've actually been uh, pursuing these accounts and you know sending them samples. And each one of these studios, I tell you, when, as soon as they get one of our monitors, they're just like, oh my god, I want 50, I want 100, I, want, I need them right now, you know. And kind of right now we have a really tight shortage and people are sort of fighting over it. It's kind of hard to decide who to give to, of course. Um, but yeah, these, uh, these 3D monitors, even though in retail, haven't really struck with the common consumer yet. But as of right now, uh, still a very, very large market to be gained in terms of the professional industry. That we, because I mean, even though in the home the 3D mm -hmm. monitor or 3D TV is not, you know, but movies, 3D is the mainstream now. Um, any movie isn't going to gross over 50 million unless it comes out with the 3D version. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell, with, you know, Harry Potter, they were saying um, because originally they had announced we're going to have it in 3D, and then they could. Um, I actually worked with the, the conversion studio that was trying to do it. They were just like, they're completely impossible. There's no way we could do that movie in that short time frame. And, you know, they actually lost about a third gross, they're estimating, because that movie was not released in 3D. So mm -hmm. it wasn't shown in IMAX. You know, a lot of people go to IMAX only now. And now they're actually going to re-release it, I think, three months from now. Mm -hmm. The 3D version of Deathly Hollows Part 1. Mm -hmm. So for Hollywood, you know, 3D is actually, it has become mainstream. and probably take about two, three to five years before it becomes common in the home. Okay.